Hey everyone, welcome back. My name is Derek with Alvalu Designs and this is take four. Oh my gosh, I have been trying to record the most simplest video ever. It's just about packaging, that's it. And I either screw up, stutter over my words so bad that there's no way in hell that I'm posting that or I get calls, uh, you know, two out of the four times I've tried doing it. Uh, or sorry, this is take five. Two out of the four times I've tried doing it. And uh, it just cuts off, you know, from when you're recording right from YouTube. So. Ugh, what the hell? All right, anyways, so let's do this. Fifth time is a charm, I hope. I really hope. Anyways, all right, packaging. I get a question every, I don't know, maybe three or four days about packaging. What do I use? What are the rates? You know, how hard is it to do uh, using either Etsy or another form? Uh, so I use stamps.com, packaging, super simple to go through. Real quick, let me show you why at least I still have the cutter rolling. So what I'm doing is I'm just printing uh, on cheap vinyl. Uh, it's perf cutting right now, punching all the way through the material. Uh, my logos that I put in each package, it's a little sticker. It's kind of like a thank you card or whatever, you know, that you put in, but it has my name, uh, the business name and uh, the web page. So that's a cool little thing. People love them. If I punch this out here, it just pops out super easy. So this is a perf cut. I still kiss cut. Uh, you could see the little line inside. Uh, and, and I do that uh, because it is a cleaner cut. Even though this is, this is a pretty nice cut, if it can zoom. This is still a pretty nice cut. When you get into the real, real tight corners, it kind of does that. And uh, I don't like that. So anyways, really, really nice machine. It has a true channel, FC8600 by Graftech. It has a true channel here where the blade actually punches through and never touches a strip. So the blades last way, way longer. They're rated to like 3,000 feet. I have well tripled that and not had to replace the blade yet. Uh, as a matter of fact, I better call this in to get one. Yeah, this is the blade. Otherwise, I'm going to be stuck one day and I'm like, oh, I don't have a blade. Anyways, so the same channel I used to kiss cut as well. So I don't need to stop it. This is so I don't need to stop it and then move the blade over and then do the perf cut. I do everything with the same channel. It just kiss cuts everything, rewinds it and then perf cuts it. Good to go over here. This is what uh, I'm printing. It's like 255, I believe, on one. Uh, one print job there so anyways oh the allergies <laughs> okay so packaging this is what i used to use it was a craft envelope first you know the brown color and then i upgraded to this little thicker a little bit better strip uh, for sealing problem was i would ship them and they would get wrinkled first of all because the males get or the mailers get beat up and uh, the strip would open up it's a crappy strip. It wouldn't seal. So I upgraded to this guy here and I haven't had a problem with opening up, but I've had a big issue with crumpling. So it'd fold over. It'd leave a big old crease throughout, uh, you know, the sticker. When peeled off, it's fine. It lays flat, but you know, it just doesn't look presentable because the back is paper and it has a memory to it. So if you bend it, you know, it's, it's going to look like this. Then you have that line, even though it's perfectly flat right now, it still has that line. When you peel it off though, it will lay flat and it won't have a mark. But I took a little bit of time, read, uh, you know, hey, you know, the bubble mailers versus this and that. And so I just bit the bullet and I bought 250 of these guys. Oddly enough, this is 26 cents. I can buy 250 of these and it's uh, 16 cents each. Now this is protective. It doesn't weigh much at all. And it has a strip that is amazing. This stuff is like super glue. As soon as you peel this off and you st uh, stick it to the uh, main body, it's gonna uh, just seal perfectly. So you fold it over, close it, put a little bit of pressure and it's there. It is not coming off. You need a knife to cut it open or you need super strength to rip this stuff apart because it is super, super stretchy and strong. So never had a problem with this. I've had 10 out of it, oh, the craft version, not the white, but the craft that's a little bit thinner. Um, I, probably 10 out of every hundred had come back or uh, been missing packages. The top had been open. So way, way better of an investment to get something that is not only cheaper, but way better. You just have to buy it in bulk. And um, 16 cents is nothing for these guys. You know, that that's really, really good. Um, I picked a color. They have multiple colors. I just picked purple, my favorite color. So I was like, hey, you know, let's go ahead and go with that kind of unique. I haven't really seen purple mailers anywhere. So I figured why not? Um, that's probably why they're, <laughs> that's probably why they're, uh, cheaper, you know, not too many people probably get purple, but I'm going to keep on buying them. Cause I like the color kind of a little bit uniqueness to it. And it's padded, uh, envelope. Uh, as a matter of fact here, let's go ahead and check the weight of them. I don't think that it's that much. Uh, so we'll turn on the scale here. 
This scale only reads but, uh, about uh, two uh, ounces accuracy. So yeah, so it's gonna be, okay, four. So four ounces, 0. 0.4 ounces, I should say. And yep, 0. 0.4. So they're the exact same weight and it's not gonna cost you much at all. You know, it's not gonna increase the pricing. As a matter of fact, it's gonna get you better pricing because you can almost bet your product is gonna to get to where it's going and it's not gonna be opened up and, and rated, you know, falling out or somebody like, oh, this is pretty much already kind of open, let me just peek inside. Not saying that anybody's doing that, but you know, stuff is missing. And then, um, yeah, it just looks clean, it looks nice. You can put your label on there, uh, you can stick whatever you want on the outside to kind of give it a little bit more uniqueness to it. But I just leave them plain, I put the shipping label. By the way, uh, this is what I use for shipping labels. I'm gonna turn this around here. I use the Zebra 450. This is like a $300 printer, I think, but I bought it used and it came with a bunch of rolls for free from uh, UPS. UPS makes this driver specifically, whoops, here, makes this driver specifically for these. So they give out the free rolls. However, I did download another driver that's similar that I can print anything on. So that's how I'm able to use it with USPS and it works really good. It's thermal, so I don't need to buy any ink or anything. Saves a ton, a ton on labels because they're ridiculous on labels, man. They charge so much for the thermal labels. So free labels, stamp my packaging and stick it into that bubble mailer and off we go. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna print a couple more sheets of this. This is on the Arlon 510. I'm using the cheaper promotional uh, vinyl and then I have my IJ35C, oh wait, no, this is my banner vinyl. I have the IJ35C chilling, brand new roll underneath there. So that's what I print all the customer's products on. It's just, these are, you know, <laughs> they're, they're promotional products for me. So just figured, hey, I have that roll, might as well print it all out on there. The uh, reason why I use the other product is because it is better. That's how I differentiate myself from some of the other competition. It's about as close as you can get to car wrap vinyl before you actually dive into the car wrap vinyl, which is, <laughs> it's like $800, $900 a roll versus $220 a roll or cheaper if you buy it in bulk like I do. And then this stuff, I think is like 60 bucks a roll, what I got it for. So, you know, I just, I don't, I don't use it um, unless a customer specifically asks me, hey, I want the cheapest roll that you could possibly get and it needs to be a large quantity order because I don't want to switch the rolls and I don't want them to think, oh yeah, I'm getting a cheaper product, but it's still good enough to do what I want because it really isn't. This is going to last like two years. It's going to fade off and you know, it, it just doesn't adhere as good as the IJ35C. So I figured I'll go ahead and just print the good stuff. Everybody will be happy. They'll know exactly what they're getting. And that's, you know, kind of what made my business grow. I think, you know, is that and really just diving in, learning SEO, uh, the market uh, research and all that stuff, hard, a lot of hard work. But other than that, you know, that's just kind of the topic that I wanted to touch on today is mainly the packaging. Packaging, I can't give a price. That's the biggest question I get all the time. How much would it send to from, uh, send a package that this weighs this much from here to here? And it, there's just too many variables. It goes by weight, it goes by size, uh, and then uh, region. So you, there's calculators online you can get that will tell you, oh, punch in this weight, you start from here, end to there, this is the price. But uh, I use stamps.com. I don't want to show you the, the, the actual version of the software on the computer because I have all the orders, but uh, stamps.com is really good. Uh, you do have to pay a monthly fee, but it makes your life way easier. And if you're selling on Etsy, I have found Etsy prices to be so, so inflated. So it would cost eight or $4 to ship is $8 on Etsy. And I've checked it multiple times. And uh, so I use my own software, um, stamps.com. And then I use the GraphTech FC8600 to cut. And for the printer, I use the, uh, oh crap, is uh, HP Latex 365. So. Those are the combos I got, and uh, yeah, I love them, man. It's been able to bring my business to the next level, uh, and right now, we are maxing out the printer, <laughs> so we cannot print any faster, and uh, that's a good thing, you know. Uh, we're getting a lot of orders, and it's just been, we're super blessed and super happy uh, putting in a lot of hard work, and uh, it has paid off so far, so it's not even our first year, and we are, you know, starting to turn a profit now, and we're super happy, you know, and we want to thank you guys too as well. All of you guys have 
uh, asked us to do jobs and, and um, you know, we've printed for you and we started to get the idea that we'll drop ship for uh, a lot of the customers too. So we have that whole end of the business, a real uh, heavy discount because you guys are sending us a ton of jobs. We're able to drop ship them to other places. And, you know, we're not, we're not uh, expensive. We're really, really competitive uh, across the top of the, the um, big, you know, against the big uh, companies. So we, we don't have huge overhead. We've been asked a couple times, oh, why haven't we bought a building, you know, and put everything in a, a nice shop? I would love to do that. I would absolutely love to do that. It's just, I'm in California, you know, and the, the prices for these buildings are like two, three thousand dollars. And um, while we could afford it and do it, it'd cut into our profits and we wouldn't be able to print as much as uh, we can now for the prices that we do. So we figure eh, once we get a little bit more going and a, a more profit, uh, then okay, we can go ahead and put a building, you know, get another printer and have two printers and a cutter just going. And uh, yeah, so that is kind of my dream and that's what I'm looking for in the future is to get two of these printers and enough work that we can support a building. But, you know, for now, psh, I'll just take that profit and uh, pay off the debt, you know, from, uh, or the, the loan, you know, from these guys, because we did take out a loan, as uh, was asked about, you know, in the future, and uh, it's, it's paying off. So this is probably one of the best things that we have done as far as uh, upgrading the equipment, um, go right to this big uh, printer after we got the solvent-based printer, latex. Latex printer is the way to go, but anyways, uh, leave a comment down below if you have any questions. You can email us or, uh, you know, uh, please subscribe. It helps us get this channel boosted and um, yeah, love helping people. So, all right, catch you later.